Currently, archaeological headlines are dominated by one topic. Experts have succeeded in uncovering another previously unknown chamber in the Pyramid of Khufu. This breathtaking news once again brings one fact home to us. The millennia-old structure is bursting with unsolved mysteries. How many hidden rooms might the world-famous tomb still hide? How did the ancient Egyptians manage to pile up the thousands and thousands of blocks weighing tons into an architectural masterpiece? And what can the mysterious shafts of the Queen's Chamber tell us about the historical truth? Are you ready to join us on a secret mission to the Great Pyramid? Then be sure to stay tuned to the end and see for yourself. But before we get started, check to see if you've already given us a thumbs up and a subscription. Write, I subscribed in the comments and tell us which pyramid mystery you've already heard about. The most creative and exciting comments will receive a heart and will be pinned to the top. Colossal mystery. Probably. Approximately. Estimated. Whoever deals with the official technical texts on the world-famous Cheops Pyramid quickly realizes that the corresponding sources are bursting with vague formulations, which leave some room for interpretation. As mentioned at the beginning of this article, the question of the pyramid's construction is the focus of heated debate. Although there are various theories about this, which are mainly based on different ramp systems, none of them can really be proven. And did you know, for example, that only three artifacts were recovered from the Cheops Pyramid? In 1872, the Scottish engineer Wayneman Dixon found a sphere, a hook, and a fragment of cedar wood. Of the sarcophagus in the so-called King's Chamber, it is said that the king was probably buried here. However, a mummy or precious burial objects were not to be discovered there. This is due to the fact that the pyramid was probably looted hundreds of years ago. As a result of the scanty evidence, some people reject the theory that the structure was really built in honor of the pharaoh Cheops. Even more, some people see in the pyramid not even a tomb, but a kind of ancient power station. Furthermore, the official age dating of about 4,500 years is sometimes strongly doubted. Some people suspect that the stone colossus was built several millennia earlier. However, given all the unanswered questions and controversies swirling around the Great Pyramid of Giza, let's not lose sight of the things we know about the stunning monumental structure. It is an absolute masterpiece. Just think about it. In a time when the Egyptians had no modern technologies, not even using the chariot wheel, they managed to create a structure for eternity. But that's not all. It's not only the massive dimensions of the pyramid that leave us open mouthed, but also its unrivaled precision. According to this, it is aligned exactly according to the four cardinal points, and the difference in the four edge lengths is not even one thousandth. Enigmatic finds. Did you know that the so-called Queen's Chamber is actually not what its name implies? In fact, this term, which is still in use today, goes back to a misinterpretation from Arab times. The background of the shafts in that very cavity appears no less diffuse. Situated at a height of about 1.5 meters, they have a diameter of just 20 centimeters. And in fact, it was not until 1872 that the previously sealed passages were rediscovered and forcibly opened by Wayneman Dixon. In the course of this, the Scotsman came across those three artifacts we mentioned earlier in the front part of the northern shaft. Commonly, the objects are interpreted as so-called model grave goods, which would serve Cheops in the afterlife as tools. But why then were the objects placed in a sealed shaft? And why did modern radiocarbon dating reveal that the wooden fragments, long thought to be lost by the way, and only resurfaced in a Scottish museum in 2020, are several hundred years older than the pyramid itself? One theory, which is not particularly valid, is that the wood was reused by the Egyptians because the raw material was as rare as it was precious at the time. However, some people believe that the great age of the artifact suggests that the Pyramid of Khufu itself was built significantly earlier than most experts believe. Exciting Discoveries Be that as it may, after just under 20 meters, the northern shaft is blocked by an iron bar. You wonder what this barrier is all about. 
Well, we have no idea. Officially, it is said that it might have been left behind by Dixon when he explored the passages. With this in mind, Rudolf Gantenbrink and his colleagues decided in 1993 to focus their attention first on the southern shaft. After just under 2.3 meters, this shaft makes a steep turn of 40 degrees. About 57 meters further on, the robot vehicle that was let in was then confronted with a polished limestone block. Since this is adorned by two heavily weathered copper fittings, some observers recognize a kind of door in it. In order to finally look behind the stone closure, the blockage was supposed to be drilled through in 2002. However, the explorers discovered only another small cavity here, which probably embodies the end of the shaft. 2002 was also the year in which the northern shaft was further investigated. And here too, the experts traced a stone block fitted with copper fittings that made further progress impossible. In the end, it would take until 2011 before the blocking stone and the small chamber behind it were again scrutinized. With the help of the robot Jetty, which was equipped with a movable endoscope, the experts made some exciting discoveries. For example, the new all-around view revealed that the back of the barrier is also polished smooth, with copper fittings forming two eyelets there. In addition, Jetty caught some red markings on the floor of the small chamber, but what their backgrounds are all about is uncertain. Their construction worker graffiti. Well, probably, of course. The question of purpose. But what was the actual purpose of the ominous shafts in the Queen's Chamber? Why did the ancient Egyptians decide to make small passages that literally lead to nowhere? And for what reason were they sealed after their completion? If they were supposed to have been ventilation shafts, why did they not lead to the open air? An alternative theory is that they could have been the corridors through which the king's soul ascended to heaven. Thus, the corridors showed the pharaoh the way to the imperishable stars of the northern sky. But in order for the deceased to make this journey, there had to be false doors or ritual corridors. But if the shafts of the queen's chamber served this purpose, either as actual burial corridors or as so-called model corridors, why do they end 15 meters from the outside? Wouldn't the pharaoh's soul then have come to a dead end? Moreover, for the ascent to the northern sky, there would have been no need at all for a corridor leading to the south. In fact, we know of no other pyramid that has such a corridor alignment. Furthermore, we should not ignore another important point, the pyramid texts, on which our assumptions about the afterlife of the ancient Egyptians are based, were handed down only 250 years after the construction of the tomb of Khufu. Unknown Chamber If and when the true background of the shafts will be uncovered, the future must show. However, it is certain that the Cheops Pyramid is now richer by another chamber, or rather, by another riddle. As you have probably already noticed, the researchers recently succeeded in discovering a new, previously unknown cavity in the stone Colossus. But the roots of this breathtaking find go back several years. Back in 2017, Muon scans had revealed a hidden passage and hints of further chambers. The endoscopy-based investigations now provided evidence that the mysterious chamber does indeed exist. The endoscopic camera lens, which was carefully pushed through a gap between the stone blocks, revealed the amazing dimensions of the cavity. Located above the ancient entrance of the Cheops Pyramid, the passage is 2.1 meters wide, 2.3 meters high, and 9 meters long. However, further discoveries were not granted to the experts here. The chamber is empty and was very likely not entered for 4,500 years. Despite all the missing traces, the real work of the experts has just begun. Accordingly, the task in the future is to find out what purpose the cavity might have once served. Even more exciting, however, is the question of what secrets might be hidden behind it. It is generally assumed that only 10% of the structure has been explored so far. Basically, it seems that the newly found room with its gable-shaped roof and its size, which is astonishing for the scientists, clearly stands out from the known pattern of corridors and chambers. In a cautious initial classification, the experts indicated that these circumstances suggest that, quote, something special lurks behind it. Accordingly, the special construction suggests that the cavity is intended 
to absorb the loads of the upper area in order to protect something that lies further back. We can all look forward to seeing what pyramid secrets are uncovered in the future. As soon as there is something new on this exciting topic, we will let you know on our channel. So all, and now it's your turn. What do you think about the mysterious shafts in the Queen's Chamber? What purpose could they have served? And what secrets do you think might still be hidden inside the Pyramid of Khufu? As always, drop us your suggestions, thoughts, and feedback on today's video in the comments below. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and a subscription to learn more about the greatest mysteries of the past. Finally, feel free to take a look at the other exciting videos on our channel, which you can access by clicking on one of the images here in the credits now. And with that, thanks for watching, take care, and see you next time.